Thank you for viewing the Kegel maintenance videos. Today, we will be going over cleaner pump calibration for your flex machine with the cleaner pump upgrade. To enter the cleaner pump calibration screen, we'll press main menu, test oil and cleaner pump volume, and cleaner pump calibration and adjustment. You can do a lot of things with your cleaner pump on this particular machine. So we'll go over the buttons on the touchscreen first. On the first screen, we can test water, cleaner, or both for the given ratio displayed. It will also tell us the last date that the cleaner was checked and how many times. In order to enable the test, we would press this button and we can run the test with the button on the inside of the duster compartment. When we test both together, we want a combined total of 30 milliliters in our graduated cylinder. When we test water and cleaner individually, it's easier to go to another menu screen. We can go to preset adjustments and look at the ratio chart. If we're testing 5 to 1, we want 25 milliliters of water and 10 milliliters of cleaner. This does add up to 35, and there is a reason behind this. When testing water, the head will run four passes to get the 25 milliliter amount. Because we're using a concentrated cleaner, we need to be able to measure the amount of cleaner being pumped into the graduated cylinder. So the head will do twice the amount that it is supposed to, to be able to measure. That means that your head will run eight times back and forth. If we're using super concentrated cleaner, we'll want to make sure that we change the tubing on our cleaner concentrate pump, and the head will pump out eight times the amount, or run 32 times back and forth to get a measurable amount. To actually test the cleaner and water output, we can press on the desired ratio, 5 to 1, test the water, enable test, and then press the button on the inside of the duster compartment with the head in our graduated cylinder. To test cleaner, we can just press the test cleaner button, the enabled button stays activated. Once confirmed that both amounts are correct, we always want to test both to make sure that we get a 30 milliliter output in our graduated cylinder. If one of these values needs to be changed, water for instance, we can use the minus 10 and plus 10 buttons to change the speed of the motor for the pump and decrease or increase the output level. 